Welcome to your messages. Let's see what's want, what wants to come through. The Eight of Pentacles. Working on something very hard that you love. Working on something that you are good at. Really putting effort and focus into the gifts that you've been given. All right, let's see. Four of Pentacles. So we have Pentacles, Pentacles, the form world, the material world, Two of Cups, Union, Divine Union, King of Cups. So we're talking about the physical world and the heart. Strength, that's your first major arcana. You have the inner strength to let something go for good. Wow. Underneath the deck. Seven of Wands. So there's something that you have been <laughs> working on and it's your mind. It's like you have been building a like a reservoir inside your mind uh, where you can always connect into an inner peace and calm. You've built a, um, you know, a shield around yourself. There's an energy shield of soft pink love. And no matter what is coming at you, all these different color wands, um, you're able to stay in that soft, open, receptive, non-judgmental energy. Um, and it's bringing you into this nine of pentacles. So we have just someone who is connected to the universe, uh, independent, God dependent, needs nothing of the world, um, but lives in the world, but not of it. So it's a beautiful energy that we're, we're heading into. Um, there is something, again, we'll go back to this eight of pentacles with the four of pentacles. So there's something that you want to come fully into. It's a gift. It's, it's what you know you're supposed to be doing. And you want to so fully step into that energy, that, that beingness, that uh, either that job or that hobby or that gift that you have. And it looks like you're going to have to let go of something before you can fully step into it. And I, I mean, it says it here twice in the reading um, because these are two major arcanas. So it doesn't say here that you're going to have to let go of something. It says here that you have the strength to let something die. And, and what this really says is that you, you, you went from holding on too tightly to what no longer serves you to literally it, it's about to be gone and you're not even going to notice it. So what they're saying is you've worked so hard and diligently on what does matter, that what doesn't matter is falling away of its own. It's dying of its own without you even noticing anymore. So there's not going to be any effort. And God's plan is effortless. That's so beautiful. <laughs> what a beautiful message. I have goosebumps. So... Yeah, this is beautiful. You've built up an inner reservoir, an inner strength, an inner being that is now allowing uh, a rebirth to happen. It's a major shift. Um, wow, and in the middle, it's, it's changing your heart. It's changing your relationships. So what's happening is you are becoming so focused on the way you feel, on what you want, like the energy is of a heart opening and it's changing your relationships. The King of Cups and the Two of Cups. It's changing your relationships across the board. What's happening is that you're putting all your energy into what is guided and what matters for you. You've spent a lot of time researching that and experimenting with, um, with what shuts you down, what opens you up what your gifts are and yeah they're saying that you've come to a place of resilience of calm of groundedness 
And if you're not aware of this energy, they're saying that, that you can go into prayer and meditation and request that you feel it because it's available to you now. There has been much maturity, much inner growth, much seeking, seek and you shall find. You are changing you know, your mind across the board. And honestly, the reason why I came on to do this reading today, which is, a, you know, I usually do one every week or two, but it's, it's only been five or six days and I could feel this, really, it's been steady, you know, positive, just energy. It's just been steady and there's this energy that wants to come in and smush it and smash it. And it's just an old pattern that the mind likes to cling to. It's just the mind wanting to go back to the fami familiar thought system or wanting to get lazy. It doesn't really matter. It's just, what they're saying is that you, you cannot go back and you don't even have to worry because the universe has, you know, come right in, right up underneath you so, so that every, Every ounce of energy you've put out in this healing process of yours in your life now, everything that you're doing is coming back to you tenfold. And that's what they're saying. That everything that you are asking for and working towards and doing is literally in alignment with the truth, with love, with your purpose and your passion. And they're just saying that there's, there's really nothing you can do to stop this wave of love coming in and that if you're not experiencing it as that then it's only uh the patterns of thought in your mind that are that are still shadows still there and that you need not worry because those are on their way out too all right let's see what fell to the floor high priestess the energy of literally being intuitively aware and present with who you are, your identity. I'm gonna just lay these out and then show you. The Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pentacles again, so you have that twice. Six of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So that is the end of a cycle. Oh, wow. Okay, so with the High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles, you are now able to intuitively know what is for you and what is not for you. You are aligned with the universe, able to pick and choose, but you cannot get it wrong because you're aligned with all of your gifts. Two of Swords with the Four of Pentacles, and you have the Four of Pentacles twice. Uh, you know, the Four of Pentacles represents a stable and solid foundation, but it also represents not wanting to let go of something that's that it's time to let go of. And this Two of Swords says that you're going inward to decide what's for you and what's not for you. So they're just saying, yes, again at the end of the spread that what's done is done what's gone is dead and gone and there's a new dawn rising this is a graphic card but i've got the same message here twice so we're we're going to look into it even further um there has been worry that there, there, there's still even though this energy is very prevalent in your life this this inner strength and, and the death of the old, the rebirth, you know, is here. It's already here. You're already reborn. <laughs> but it's almost like there's a shadow side that wants to tell you it's not true, even though you know it's true. So these are just shadow thoughts, but, you know, you have the strength to overcome them. And, and that's a fact. And they're saying that swords are just in the mind. They're not real. But you do have the nine of swords. And that is, it feels like a never-ending nightmare. And it's just been so long that it's been there in your mind that, you know, it's, it's a pattern. It's that, that pattern. And it doesn't have to be torturous thoughts. It's just literally thinking something could go wrong. It's just worry. It's just unnecessary mental chaos. And that is what, that my friends is what has to be let go of.
okay? So what they're saying is there are, there are beliefs in the mind still that are saying that this new version of yourself cannot be, but you've already experienced yourself. So you have the proof all around you right now. I don't know what your life looks like, like, but you're independent. You're doing your thing. You're in, you're doing what you're good at. Uh, you're helping others. You are serving. You are making solid and sound foundational decisions in your life. You are listening and following. You are being guided. You are feeling goosebumps. You are feeling grateful. You are feeling loved. And there are some shadow thoughts still telling you that something's wrong. But I'm here, I'm here to tell you that nothing's wrong. That those are just shadow thoughts and you can ignore them. And you can say, thank you. I, I, I hear you, but I, I don't want to hear you anymore. I'm not going to listen and I don't need your help. I've got it. And you just continue listening to your heart. Your heart is leading you now. And that is a beautiful thing. It's improving your relationships. You're really able to give and receive the energy of love, the energy of love, because you have been letting go piece by piece, one by one of these beliefs that don't serve you anymore, like unworthiness or disaster may loom at any corner, whatever those thoughts are for you, you are the queen of swords, slicing through uh, anything that's telling you that there's still something to fear. So very, very quickly are you realizing, even now, and I'm just here to confirm, very quickly you're realizing that these thoughts cannot hurt you and they are actually in your control. You can change your mind. You can notice your thoughts and say, yeah, I'm not gonna think that anymore. You're not a prisoner to your thought system. You just simply need to notice when it's off and come back into alignment with better thoughts. So really they're saying this is this is of the mind. It's it's illusion. It's not it's not true whatever the mind is saying that's not loving and you don't have to buy those lies. Let's get a let's get an oracle forest card. I'm going to pull some oracle cards and read the um, interpretation for y'all. And we're going to get some advice from the spirit that way. What is the advice for this spread that says um, the ones who are here are really stepping into their, their gifts from God, into their destiny, into their heart, and, and they're making integrous decisions and really stepping up into joy. And there's still shadow thoughts lingering and looming saying, that this can't, you know, actually happen. A consistent and happy and peaceful life. It's, it is happening. It is here. And you are experienced happening. You know, 90% of the time, or at least 51% of the time, most of you are experiencing a better reality. And there's voices in the head saying that it can't be. And it's just not true. Retreat. Okay, so here's the deal. What the ego doesn't want you to know is that when the mind is chaotic, all you need to do is simply get still and let that energy come fully in so that it can be seen and released. That's your only job. That's your only work. And I'm just here to remind you that if you give yourself... 30 minutes, then you can allow that energy to pass through. It could take 24 hours. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I do know that you don't have to run from it. There's no way around it. We want to go through the energy. We want to allow the energy to come and pass on through. So we have retreat. I'm going to read it to you. It's number 38. Retreat. This card indicates that it's time to pull back from people and situations that do not empower or support you. Wow. <sighs> so we're dealing with beliefs and we're dealing with relationships. 
that do not feel helpful anymore. Because we do have a lot of cup energy. You see these cards? Do your relationships feel like this? Or do they feel like this? So this is about really um, admitting when there are people in your life that are not helping. And if you are coming into the mindset that you're a victim of it, you have a choice. Let go of anything or anyone that drained you and protect yourself from less than positive influences. It's time to renew your energy. Incubate your dreams for the future. Make plans for tomorrow. But remember that this is a season of rest and recuperation. It's a time for replenishing your inner resources. Care for your body and your health. Mend and organize objects in your home. Repair whatever needs to be repaired in your life. Step into sacred silence to discover the answers within. A spurt of springtime energy is coming, but you absolutely must be prepared and must create foundations. Otherwise, it can seem overwhelming and destabilizing. And you have twice in this spread the Four of Pentacles which is, it talks about foundations. Number four, the, the number four takes, talks about solid foundations. So they're asking you to make sure that your foundations are solid before you go, because there's gonna be a spurt of energy where you are going to be sent out. Make sure your foundation is solid first. It says, it's the time to be still and take stock of your life and your future. The spirit guardian of winter reminds us to stop the busyness of life and relax. Huh. Yeah, it's, and, and I want you to understand that if this is a busy period in your life, if this is a busy period in your life, all this means is take the time you need every single day to pray up. Get your daily bread, your daily dose of God, like a computer needs to be charged. Fill up your cup and then go out and give it away. So it's not saying to not leave your house. It is saying to get your God on first. I don't know where these things are coming from, but they're, sorry. Get your God on, okay? Oh, goodness. All right, let's see what advice wants to come in through this wisdom of the Oracle deck. Yang. See, this is so funny. This is the, this is the masculine, I'm pretty sure, that says it's a call to action. So I, I really believe that we are being called to action, but we have to take time every single day to to, to link into the spirit all day long. And if we need three hours in the morning to take it, even if we have to get up at four in the morning, I mean, this is my life. I have, I have to get in my prayer and meditation and I have to go out. So let's see, let me read it to y'all. It's a number one, so it's a new beginning. It looks just like the uh, Ace of Pentacles to me, which is a gift from God, a new beginning in the physical world. But in this deck, it's the Yang, which is the masculine of action, I'm pretty sure, let's read. Yang is number one, wow. Okay, Wisdom of the Oracle, one of my favorite decks. Wisdom of the Oracle. Let's see. Where is number one? I'm on eight, seven, six, five. Can't get to one. One, yang. Okay, it's so the very first card, yang. Essential meanings, the masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. You've got two cards here, one saying go within, be still, and one saying go out and be active. So you need to balance and body. 
both of those energies into your life right now. The Oracle's message. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Wow, this is a reminder that those thoughts that you're thinking are worth all the time and energy to notice, recognize when they're not good, happy thoughts because they're creating your reality. Now is the perfect time to act. <laughs> Don't you just love it? For you can easily build momentum and make headway right now. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. Wow. Where is that? I want to show you that. That's what that says to me. You, through the strength, inner strength that you've built, have overcome what no longer served you and have been reborn. Whew. This card signifies new life, new life, and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There's no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your own destiny now. Wow. Wow. So once again, you have overcome the world <laughs> and you are God dependent now with the bird, the dove of peace. Wow. I'm going to pull one Course in Miracles card. What a beautiful reading. I, I really did want to get a message in today because I could see my own mind wanting to clutter and I'm thinking, there's nothing but love going on here. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what, what you're trying to say to me, mind. <laughs> it's interesting. We have to be able to notice it and say, no thanks. I'm going to play some music tonight. No matter what you have to say, shadow. That's what I'm doing. I don't know, what you, I don't know about y'all, but let's see. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. It is not danger that comes when defenses are laid down. It is safety. It is peace. It is joy. And it is God. Wow. So this, this card can be a card of being defensive, but, but for the right reason. So, huh, they're saying, the Spirit is saying that, um, you know, you can... You can be soft in that energy of calm and loving and that if you want to use defensiveness, the only proper use of it is, is, is saying no to the ego in your mind. That, nope. And you don't even have to do that in a way like, get the hell out of my mind. You can just say, no thanks. Yeah. And I did, I saw this while I was shuffling and it came up on the bottom of the deck. So I want to put this up to love holds no grievances. It says the holiest of all the spots on earth is where an ancient hate, hatred has become a present love. So yeah, it just feels like, because a lot of times when the mind wants to go off like that and we, we, we feel like we're not in control and we want to, I mean, you can see where we want to say, well, I can see right now where I want to say, you know, my mom or my sister did this or that, or, or that last night at the music club that, you know, this happened. No, no, no. It's all our own mind. So if something didn't go the way we had planned, just trust that it's all working together for good. Or if somebody needed something from you or wasn't there for you in the way you expected. It's really, this is such a beautiful practice to take responsibility for your own energy, for your own responses, reactions. Everybody has a choice and you are not a victim of your family or of your, 
job or what happens, you know, you get to take it all back to your own mind and choose, okay, that didn't work out. All things work together for good. Okay. That person wanted this. I could only give this, you know, are you going to let it still the next 24 hours of your life or just learn from it? It's, it can be that quick. Okay. That didn't go right. It can be that quick. Really life can be that simple. I feel like that's the lesson today. You've built up all this heart opening love and inner strength and all your gifts are, everything is at your fingertips if you want it. But are you gonna let little things like family, friends, and just little quirky things upset you? This is about every day living in the peace and the love of God, no matter what. That's what this card represents, by the way, the King of Cups. He's the king of his emotions. No matter what, you know, everything around him is, you know, choppy. And that's the story of the King of Cups. You know, he's in the middle of an ocean on a square and he's got a yellow light around his head. His eyes are closed and he's just chilling. He's so relaxed. Nothing, I, you know what that song has come to me. Nothing's gonna change my world. Fiona, but I think somebody big did it before that. Fiona Apple, uh, the Beatles, nothing's gonna change my world. I'm sure I'm wrong about this, but anyway, nothing's gonna change the peace in my mind. Above all else, I want the peace of God. This is what this reading is about. You've done the work. Are you gonna choose you? Are you gonna choose the peace of God? Are you gonna choose to identify with the spirit who can overcome the world? You have overcome the world, by the way. You have. So don't buy the ego lies. <laughs> you, you know, you, you can choose. Okay, those are the messages that I have for you. I'll see you next time.